Yeah, BTB Savage did a lengthy inter interview that went viral earlier this week. Viewers commented that it seemed like he was bragging that he killed someone in self-defense and that he wasn't concerned about retaliation. We got bands in here. How you want to play? I got your boot going ham in here. Ron, I'm glad you're safe. You had a very, very traumatic situation that recently happened. Um, so I want to go ahead and, and get into this whole situation. Two hours after those social media posts. It's not random. What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. BTB Savage, who hails from Cleveland, Ohio, did a little bit of moving around and became an uprising rapper based in the San Antonio area. Now he has recently made the news from giving up the ghost just hours later after posting this picture in a crime scene. But this graphic picture was not just any regular crime scene. This was the crime scene of an incident that took place where men ran into BTB Savage's residence and attempted to rob him in the presence of his girlfriend and his child. The man that allegedly attempted to execute this robbery goes by the name of Omar Richardson. We now know the name of a man shot outside of his downtown apartment Friday evening. 34-year-old Omar Richardson. Who passed in that apartment building during the attempted robbery after trying to relieve BTB Savage of his jewelry. The shooting happened just after 11 p.m. on McCullough Avenue, not far from I-35. When San Antonio police arrived, they found a blood trail which led to Richardson. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Now, this story gets much more interesting when you begin looking at the timeline. This robbery event happened in early February, but with BTB's recent demise, people have been pointing to a very recent Vlad TV interview he conducted and was posted just days ago. Well, I'm glad you're safe. You had a very, very traumatic situation that recently happened. Um, so I want to go ahead and get into this whole situation. Now, before we take a look at all these things, please do me one small favor. Hit that like button. Make sure you got your notification bell turned all the way up to all and apply pressure to that subscribe button. Apply pressure to that subscribe button. The man gunned down in River Oaks last night has now been identified. Daryl Gentry was killed in a hail of gunfire on a mid lane near San Felipe. BTB Savage was recently killed in the Houston, Texas area after two suspects opened fire on him in traffic. The victim is a rapper who goes by BTB Savage. People are tying this murder to this Vlad TV interview where he describes the incident of him being robbed in his own apartment or the attempted robbery in his own apartment. Yeah, BTB Savage did a lengthy inter interview that went viral earlier this week. Viewers commented that it seemed like he was bragging that he killed someone in self-defense and that he wasn't concerned about retaliation. Add to that that he followed that interview by posting photos of himself in the bloody crime scene. Now, I can't play this whole entire Vlad interview clip for obvious reasons, but I pulled out some of the most interesting parts. Take a look. Number one, I'm glad you're safe. You had a very, very traumatic situation that recently happened. Um, so I want to go ahead and, and get into this whole situation. So all this happened in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah that's it. Okay, so tell me exactly what happened leading up to the situation. Shit, they was always hitting me up to do music and shit like that. So I was like, all right, bet. Well, one day, it was late. I was like, shit. They was going to pay for the feature or whatever. We're going to do the song. And then they got to do the promo with it. I was going to do it at first. I wasn't going to do it at first, I mean, because it was so late. It was like damn near 10, 11. When I was talking to the girl I was with at the time, I'm like, shit, so I do this shit up, wait till tomorrow, and just meet them at a real studio. Like, And then, but I, I ain't going to lie, I just wanted the bread. I'm like, all right, bet. They're going to pull up. I'm going to grab the bread real quick, dip out, and then go back to the uh, my other crib with my cousin there. So, um... Shit, so last minute, I'm like, shit, just come on. They're like, we got our own studio equipment. Like, if I say something, they got something to respond to it. Like, oh, I, I don't got this. Oh, I got it. I got this. I got that. So I'm like, shit, pull up. Let's do the song real quick. So they pull up or whatever, and it's him. I mean, it's, it's other people in the car. So 
I don't know how that go or whatever. I don't know if they was dropping them off or what. So, boom, they both hop out. And I'm like, what's up? I'm talking to them. Like, what's up? What y'all on? Blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, man, we just chilling. They're like, I've been trying to do this for the longest, bro. You be bullshitting and da, da, da. I'm like, all right, bet. We go inside the crib. And then they just talking and shit, like, looking around. That's why I, I, I figured it was kind of weird they looking around when they first walk in my crib. Like, going like that and shit. But I, I just kind of didn't pay it no mind. I was just more of like, come on, let's get this out the way. I'm just going to knock this out. 30 seconds, like, a rapping real quick. And now I'm done. I ain't tripping. So, boom. They they got down, started pulling out their equipment or whatever, or fake equipment. Like, he pulled out a little box that, it, it's a studio box, but, like, it got the uh, mixer in it. It didn't have really shit in it. So then a dude, I guess the older dude, I, don't, I ain't really know him like that. I don't know. I don't know them like that. I didn't know him at all. So whenever um, he was talking to me, the dude I'm talking to for the feature or whatever, he, um, Talking to his uncle, like he like, oh, I ain't got this, I ain't got that. So his uncle said, go to the car and get more, like get your get the rest of the equipment or whatever. So I'm thinking like, damn, why would you? It should be the opposite way. You tell him to go, cause I'm you. We like the ones we we locked in. We talked or whatever about the song to do the song, and you gonna leave the random dude in my crib type shit. So when he walked out, I was kind of nervous. So I locked the door, both locks, and um. His uncle, he pulled out some bread. He like, oh, man, we ain't on that. We ain't on that. Uh, we not on no weird shit or nothing like that. You ain't got to lock the doors and like that. He like, I'm a grown man or whatever. I was like, oh, no, nah, bro. I just got PTSD. Like, whenever he come and knock on the door, I'll just open it like that. Like, I'm not I'm not going to let nobody, random person walk in my crib. And then he like, he like, oh, no, I respect that. I respect that. And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, yeah, we be doing that shit. We be active, too. He pulling out bread. He like, yeah, I've been doing this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, um, I was like, shit, not, not for sure. Like, respect, like, do your thing. I ain't tripping. I don't care. I actually don't give a fuck what they were doing. It just, where the bread at? Like, pay for this shit and got out my face for real. So, um, while he talking, he asked him about my chain. He like, uh, how much, uh, what do you go to? Blah, blah, blah. How much you hit you for? And I'm telling him, like, oh, yeah, I, I dropped the bag on this one. Da, 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 da. And then while I'm talking, I, I go down to, um, Look at like look at my piece while you talking. I'm like, this one? I'm like, yeah, this one. While I'm looking down like that, that's when he up the pole on me. And he like, oh yeah, run that. And he had a distance though. And I'm like, man, you got me fucked up. I ain't running shit. And he was like, shit, if you don't run that, I'm gonna blow you. And he was like, I'm gonna shoot you type shit. And I was like, I was like, bro, you dead ass serious right now? And he was like, I'll shoot your bitch, nigga. Run that shit. And so while I'm sitting there, I'm talking to him or whatever. He like run. I'm like, nah, you got me fucked up, bro. What the hell you got going? And then he like, nah, well, I see you flexing on Instagram. Where all that shit at? Where that? Where, where is that? Like that. I was like, man. I'm like, bro, all right, bro. I started taking off my chain first because he started asking about other shit. Like, where is it? So I'm like, I'm giving what he want real quick. So I took off my chain and he's standing at a distance. He's still at a distance. So I can't like move quick and jump. So when he come over, he, uh, he reached for the, the chain and he took the gun off me right there. I hit him with uh, like both of his arms under my armpit like this. And I, I like lean back, like all the way back. So his elbows lock up like that. So he holding the gun, he turn it and fire at the refrigerator. And then he like run that, run that. So I just fell all, I fell, fell back. Like if he would have like tried to hold back, his arms gonna break. So I just jumped back and fall all the way back. And then when we fall down to the ground, his, his hand slammed under me. So he let the gun go. And then he tried to pull out. I don't know if he, what he was pulling out, but I took his arm in again while he was on top of me on the floor. So his arms under me, both his arms under me, and I could feel the guns on my back. So I pushed my back all the way down and like bring him closer to me. I'm like, I'm like, damn, come shoot him, bitch, come shoot him. I'm yelling at him, I'm like, come shoot him, come shoot him. I don't know where she at. So I just keep tugging with him like that until I get rest of them shits out of her hand, out his hand. So then she run over there. She got down shaking and shit. I'm looking at it. I'm like, shoot him, shoot him. So like, well, I, I edge, I swing my hip under him like that to put him on top of me, all the way on top of me. And then she's popping him in the back twice. Like she's like, boom, boom. In the back, he's like, ah, oh, fuck. And this nigga turned into the motherfucking hawk right there. You would think he would be the hawk before he got shot. But right there, that's when I guess you got a full adrenaline rush. He started going crazy. Like he saw, I ain't gonna lie, he got the edge over me, basically to where I was on his, like on his back. 
he pulled the guns out and I got nervous or whatever. So I just swing off from under him and I get on his back and I start wrestling with him. And then I see he got two guns in his hand. So I'm like, where the fuck this nigga get two guns from? Like, what the fuck? So I'm holding him down like that. And I grab control of the gun because he got his hand on the ground trying to get up. So I'm all on his back. I put my left hand on the gun and the right gun, he aim at the uh, bitch or whatever. He like aiming at her head, trying to put the beam. So I'm grabbing his arm. Like he really trying to aim and shoot at her face type shit. So like he put the beam on her head. And I'm like, run, bitch, run. Like move out the way. And then she take off running. He fired three times. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, oh, no. Nah. So I, I, when I grab him, I make him put the gun down. So he got both of his hands on the ground, but his, his hands still on the guns. And I don't got a good grip. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? My kid in that back room, fam, you tripping. I'm like, go ahead and get up out of here, bro. You already fired like five shots. It's hot. The police on the way. Whatever you're trying to do, going to go bad for it. You're going to go straight to prison. Like, go ahead and get the fuck up out of here. He like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm leaving with some nigga. I'm like, bro, you got me fucked up. He was like, oh, you're going to die. He was like, you're going to die up in here. And I was like, you got me fucked up, nigga. You dying. Fuck that. So I, I, I started going crazy, like getting all over him, just whatever he do to get the guns off of him. So while we on the ground tussling, he like, shoot through the door. Shoot through the door. So then I hear like, boom, like as if they tried to kick the door. I, I'm still on top of him. So I'm looking at her. I'm like, I'm like, pass me the gun. Pass me the gun. He, he They're about to shoot through the door. Because I was going to lay down and he just turn around and start dumping through the door. And then she like, she's scared to go over there because they fired twice and they stopped. So it was like a five second pause. They were like, boom, boom, through, the, through my door. So I'm standing on top of him and he's steady trying to kick me towards the door. So he like pushing me, shoving me towards the door. And I'm like moving his arms out the way, trying to get on top of him. So then um, she fought, they fired two times through the door. I'm like, slide it, slide the gun. And he like kind of right by the edge of the, it's like an island in the middle. He kind of by the edge of the island. So it's like she can't go around there and grab that gun or slide the gun because I'm I'm under like where his waistline is grabbing all that. He's trying to push me down and I just keep calling up him and grabbing him, but laying on the ground and keeping my head down. So while they firing through the door, they fire twice. I'm like, slide me the gun, slide me the gun. She's like, they shooting through the door. Like she don't want to run over there. And I, I don't blame her. It's her first time like even shooting a gun or shooting somebody. So I don't expect her to be on point about everything type shit. So I'm like, all right, I'm like, all right, baby. I'm like, shoot him then, shoot him. But after I said shoot him, I, I, I probably said like 20 rounds just go off through my door. Boom, 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 boom. Back to back to back to back to back, to back nonstop. Like that shit was not stopping. I'm like, all right, bet. So boom, I'm I'm still stacking down. And I tell her to shoot through the door. I'm like, shoot through the door. Fuck it. Then you don't want to slide me the gun, blow that bit through the door then. So she shoot through the door twice. She like, boom, boom, and shoot through the door. And then uh, they left him. They left him like, <laughs> nobody shooting through the door, nobody kicking. You would think like, if you go on, I ain't going to say if you're going to go do something like that, everybody going to be on tack, like, especially if y'all call yourself family or whatever. You would think they partners going to go all out. Like, once they shoot through the door, my door is weak at that point. All you could do is just step through it. Like, they didn't do nothing. They just completely left him for dead type shit. So I'm like, all right, oh, they scary. Like, that's when I knew I had the edge over. I'm like, oh, they left him. I don't hear nothing no more. Like, we tussling and fighting. I don't hear nothing. So we get over there by, by my couch, and we just wrestling and shit. I'm like, come shoot him again, because he got one gun in his hand. I already got the other one out of his hand. So I'm like, come shoot him again. Come shoot him again. And then he run over there. Uh, or she run over there, and she aiming the gun, but he's sitting down, and I'm like standing over him. And I'm like, bitch ass nigga. Oh, I'm punching him. Bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. Watch out. And then I, I I hit him with a knee in the face. And that's when he started going to like panic mode, like going crazy, trying to grab for the gun and grab my leg. And then I'm like, shoot him, shoot him. And then she like trying to aim, but he keep pushing me in front of him because he's sitting down in between my legs, holding both of my legs like that. At that point, like he just started reaching for the gun. He just started trying to get me down. So I'm like, so I'm like moving over or whatever. And when I finally like push over and get my leg out the way, that my arm is on him, like in front of him. So when she fired the shot, the bullet hit me straight on my elbow. It just snapped. I'm like, oh, fuck, bitch, you shot me. So that bitch ass nigga didn't shoot me at all. Like, I don't know if they get him, you know what I'm saying? That he didn't hit me at all. Like, he was just straight soft, like weak. So anyway, goddamn. She shoot me on my elbow and instantly break. She do that. I move all the way out the way because my shit just completely broken, like dangling in the, all I, I can see my whole bone on my arm. 
and I can only move my fingers and my full hand, but I can't pick it up straight like this. It's just hanging down like that, but it can move. It can grip at the same type of strength my right hand can at that, at that time. So I'm still holding him down while my shit's bleeding out. And I'm holding him down so he don't slot over to that gun and, and they in the gunfight and I don't got a gun at all. So um, while I'm while I'm doing that or whatever, she shoot him again. Like after she me in my elbow, I move all the way out the way. My shit broken or whatever. She pop him again in the shoulder or the chest, I think. I don't know where it hit him. But I seen him go like this. He like, he like fuck. And then we wrestling again on the ground. We just tugging up for that shit or whatever. So I kick the gun and I'm thinking this away from him or like he good. So I, I step over to talk. I'm like, I'm like, go grab my son and get your shit and let's fucking go like that. And I'm like, let's get the fuck up out of here. Let's dip, let's dip. And then I see him still crawling over, like still moving and shit, like trying to get. And then like, I ain't gonna lie, where I kicked it, it was in the hallway, right? But he got towards it and it looked like he was moving towards where my son was. So I just instantly went in panic mode and I dove on him like as if I was diving in the pool, literally jumped on him and I'm on his back holding him down like, tight like that i'm like watch out bro watch the fuck out what are you doing bro get the fuck up out of here just go now like that and then he was like no i'm leaving here with something i'm leaving here with something so i just uh while we tugging and you can tell his uh back like the bullets from his back is, is getting to him because right when he tried to get up when i walked away to talk to her he tried to get up and his legs buckled he just instantly fell he tried to stand up boom he just fell down and his leg like looked crazy as hell while he moving towards the the gun so when I jump on him, he got his hand on the gun already and his finger on the trigger. But it's like my the hallway and then my son's room to the left. So he right in the middle. All he do is got to crawl two more inches and turn left and my son right there. So while I'm doing that, I, I drag his arm down a little bit where it's towards the wall in the bathroom, facing the wall in the bathroom. And I put my finger on top of his finger and I start firing the gun. And I can tell he went, he couldn't really move like that because he's weak. Like at that point, he just, he just feeling everything. So I put my knee on his neck like that and I'm holding him down. I, f I put my finger on top of his finger. I'm firing all the bullets for him. So when all the bullets empty, he like, oh, bro, my bad. Come on, bro. I got kids too, bro. Let me make it home and uh, don't let me die or whatever like that. I'm like, bro, you good? I'm like, I'm like, you good, nigga? I'm like, give a fuck about you. I, like, I hope you die, bitch. Like that. I like, you just said you're going to kill my son. And then he was like, no, nah, bro, no, nah, bro, no, nah, it's not like that. I like, fuck you, like that. So, boom, whenever I, I run to the back, I'm like, you got my son? And she's like, I'm picking him up now. So I heard that when she picked him up, she put the blanket over his head. But it's it's like the middle of the night, he's knocked out, got school in the morning. So he like, day is super tired. He in the middle of his sleep, my son sleep like that. So he got down, she put him on the shoulder, he stay asleep. She put the blanket over his head, he not seeing nothing. He just sleep on her shoulder, we walking out and then, um. Right when she come out, I'm standing by the bathroom watching her, waiting for her to come out so I can take everybody out at once. And then I hear like a boom. And I just tell her, I'm like, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. And then she start crying because she's scared. So I grabbed the nine, the, the nine from her and I put it on my hip. And I was like, I was like, chill out, chill out, shut the fuck up. I'm like, I don't know who in here. And then I, I hear them yell like, fuck. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Maybe they cleaned up. Maybe they grabbed sticks or whatever. Whatever was laying around, maybe they were trying to, I don't know what the fuck they did for real. I just was chilling in the back and she started crying like hella loud. Like I wouldn't say loud, but loud enough to where somebody can hear you. So I smashed my hand on her mouth. I'm like, shut the fuck up for you. Wake my son up and he see what the fuck going on. So I'm like, I got my hand over her mouth, quiet as fuck. I'm like, shut the fuck up, like be quiet. And then she like sitting in the back chilling. She like, all right, I'm about to go out there and check. So I pull a gun up and then I walk out there and I'm just aiming and I see him right there by the, um, by the door and then he like, he crawled over by the side where my front door is. And it's like a little edge where he just lay right there. And then um, he like, while I walked by, he grabbed my foot. He like, he like, come on, bro, take me with you, bro. I, just, I can make it to the hospital. I just need to go to the hospital. I was like, nigga, fuck you. Like, I ain't taking you no fucking hospital, boy. Yo, I about to fry right here. And if they come save you, then they come save you. If not, then yo, I toasty. BTB Savage posted a video flexing about that incident with a music video called My Turn. When San Antonio police arrived, they found a blood trail which led to Richardson. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Still no word yet on any arrests. Oh my God. Jack just wanted drink. 
Ducked off in the coop, ride around with my favorite switch. Y'all niggas had y'all turn, now it's my turn to pop shit. At the ATM, finna hit the box and make them bands quick. Drop a bag on them, you can't find them. Go and now this was before the Vlad TV interview. Now people are really coming out the box blaming Vlad TV interview for this. But within the last few hours, another rapper from the San Antonio area that goes by the name of BJ Goddamn. It ain't let's get the business clear, nigga. What up? Yeah. The life I live, these niggas rap about, I'm just being real, nigga. Put out a post on Instagram where it seems like he himself was trying to tie himself to the murder. Now on this post, the most interesting thing about it is people claim that he posted this just a couple hours before BTB Savage was shot and killed. But also, in the same post, BJ said tag Vlad TV interview. He wanted an interview from some incident that some people say when he posted this didn't even happen yet. Now, after everything went down, there's more gasoline put to the fire. Vlad TV himself actually went on the post and put up two simple words, my turn. Now, it's pretty clear to me what Vlad TV was saying by posting up those words, my turn. What he's pointing to is the video we talked about earlier with BTB Savage pretty much flexing on that incident with that video called my turn. Now, here's where I want to chime in. I totally believe that BTB Savage had the right to protect everything that he owned and protect his family, right? But Generation Z, y'all the generation after mine, y'all a little bit different than my generation. It seems like there's nothing out of the box that can be used for clout. And I feel like if you're gonna go on Vlad TV, which is one of the biggest platforms online for rap, and pretty much flex on that incident, you gotta be ready at all times. At all times, you pretty much can't be lacking at all. It seems like he wasn't ready at all times. Two hours after those social media posts. It's not random. At some point, they approached him in the 2100 block here and began shooting. I don't know if they cut him out, boxed him in or whatever, but uh, that's, that's part of the investigation. The victim's white Mercedes was riddled with bullet holes. Nothing was stolen. This seemed personal, according to police. And on top of that, let's get to BJ Goddamn. Now, looking at his Instagram post, I don't think this definitely makes him the killer. No, not at all. Hey, even if he posted it up a few hours before. The thing about that is you can't call anybody wrong for questioning him and he pretty much opened himself up probably for a federal investigation in the future. Often, and you don't often see Chief Troy Finner and the FBI show up to a scene. Why do you think that happened? So I asked that question during the news conference and the representative with the FBI told us flat out they're here as support. They're trying to give HPD as much resources as they can so they can figure out who exactly was involved in this drive by shooting and get those responsible people behind bars as soon as possible. I mean, he took the post down, but we all know how the Internet is. Once you post something, it's all over the place. It stays there forever in some form of fashion. And it's already out there. Hey, anything for clout? Now, for Vlad TV, we all know where Vlad TV comes from, the community that he comes from. Many people from the black community have called Vlad TV out in the past for what they want to say or what you would call a culture vulture. Some of that I agree with, but I'm going to tell you something. At this point, after so many people have pointed this out on Vlad TV, I think it's up to you as an artist if you go on his platform to pretty much watch your words. DJ Vlad asked if he was concerned about retaliation. He replied, quote, they might do what they do, but I'm going to get active. That's all that it is. But you want to go on a platform with millions of followers and you want to put these stories out and flex on people, even if you were in the right for doing it. These people have passed, their families are mourning. If you want to do that, you just have to be prepared for these people, loved ones, to possibly do a comeback. And I think that's exactly what BTB Savage killers did. Who knows? Maybe they wanted a piece of that spotlight on themselves. That's my opinion on this. 
Now you tell me how you feel in the comments section. Do you think that BTB Savage was wrong for flexing on someone that tried to rob him of his jewelry in his residence during a transaction of business? Do you think BJ Goddamn may have something to do with this regarding that post? Tell me in the comment section how you feel. Well, anyways, you know how we like to end our videos over here at Moxie Approved, right? With that water. I'll see y'all here next time on Moxie Approved.